talking to Steph momentarily. 37 from Steph, but you talked about the others in the beginning of the show. 23 from Wiggins, 26 from Kaminga. A good round effort from the rest of the Warriors. And that's what they're going to need, I think, from here on. I, I talked about the others and, and, and the maturation of their younger players. And games like this, when you don't have a Clay Thompson, getting this opportunity uh, and still in confidence in them is something they're going to need moving forward if they're going to talk about making a, some type of run in the mm. playoffs. 37, 8, and 7 with eight threes for Stephen Curry. And I don't even think that would rank in the top 25 games that he's ever played. I just think that we live in a time where, you know, we have players. We just watched Steph and LeBron play. Oof. Um, Saturday. On Saturday, and it just, it, at their age, it keeps getting better. And I just think all of us that watched the NBA should never take this for granted. Because mm. it might be a night out, right? A normal night at the office for Steph. But eight threes is still spectacular. And especially when the entire defense is focused mm -hmm. on stopping you. Mm. 195 threes thus far this season for Stephen Curry, most in the NBA. And we're not at the All-Star break yet. He's going to touch 200. He's competing against himself. And he has been, especially when it comes to shooting. Like, who else is even close? There's nobody close to what he's doing. And to stay that driven, that in love, and we all know, playing a long time, the work that goes into the mental preparation to your body, to keep the joy for the game, all those different things, to do it night in and night out, he never disappoints. All right, while we wait for Steph, I do have trivia. <laughs> another one? Yeah, another one. All right. uh, Steph had eight threes tonight. Third place for eight or more threes in the game is Clay Thompson with 24. Second place is Damian Lillard with 29. First is Steph. How many times do you think he's done it? Eight threes or more? Eight threes or more. It's got to be 56. Okay. I was going to say 60. Okay. I was going to say 75. 77. <laughs> so Lillard and Clay I'm combined. I'm I'm 53. <laughs> Steph has done this 77 times. Crazy. And that incredible shooter is joining us now. Stephen Curry, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, left go here, Steph. Uh, once again, an absolute joy to watch you play. We saw you ripping your jersey on Saturday tonight. As I've been saying, I'll show 37, 8, and 7. It's just another process. How, how are we feeling as the leader of this group as we get closer to the All-Star break? It's been an emotional ride for you know, our whole team this whole year. Uh, we, we talked about some self-inflicted wounds we've had, you know, in some games that we should have won. You know, some things off the court in our in our family. Uh, you know, dealing with that, and obviously, like you know, whatever we were, five games under 500 until tonight. Like, there's always there's a sense of desperation for us. So, I mean, the vibes are as positive as they can be. Um, mm. It's just a matter for us to. Have a night like tonight where you just get a win to get over the hump and, you know, be able to come back to the locker room and have something to smile about. And that hopefully will be contagious as we go on the road uh, for this next trip. Steph, Ben, VC here. Uh, I know you're the face and you're expected to do so much, but how important uh, is it that you have Wiggins, uh, Kaminga, and Draymond, you know, playing like they're playing right now to give you some other support? Yes, you had a big night, but there are other guys that played well tonight to make the game easier for you to help your team win and to to boost confidence moving forward. Everybody has to be aggressive. You know, in this league, it's, it's really hard for, you know, any one person, I don't care who you are, to, you know, you can impact the game, you can have your numbers and all that, but, you know, teams make adjustments, they try to make it hard on you, and everybody, you know, in our offense has to be aggressive to score, to create. Um, we're starting to understand the pictures a little bit more in terms of how guys uh, how teams are guarding us as a five man unit and for Wiggs, JK to be as aggressive as they were tonight, Draymond knocking down threes, you know, BP being able to probe a little bit. Um, it, it matters and obviously without Clay tonight too, that's a lot of shooting that you're missing. So we needed that aggressiveness. Steph, what's up? It's Jamal. Uh, just JC. want to give you a props as always for me. Every kid around the world is trying to play like you. They're trying to mimic you. What does your imagination come from? How did you start playing like this? How do you continue to push the envelope of how you play? What excites you to keep keep going and keep that imagination and creativity going? I mean, y'all, all, all three of y'all know how much you know you love playing this game. So anytime I step out of here, it's it's my happy place, and you know that that joy has to be there. Uh, you know, I did rip a jersey in frustration, but the joy of playing the game is. 
is always there. Uh, I don't know where the imagination, creativity coming from. Probably was playing uh, VC in one on one when I was ten, <laughs> up, at, up at the Air Canada Center. Yeah, watching that, watching that mess. I've been inspired by so many people, yourself included. Uh, but it, I don't want, I don't want this to end anytime soon. Steph, Candace Parker here. Um, joy, you, you talk about that all the time, um, in wins and in losses. What can you say to the young basketball players out there about getting through the ups and downs and the slumps and whether it's shooting, whether it's the team not winning, like how do you as the face of this franchise push this franchise forward when things aren't going right? When times are hard, you have to just stick to and, and commit to the process that you've uh, developed over time. Though, you know, that, that's where the preparation, you know, develops confidence. So. Everybody is impacted by the results, you know, win or losses in terms of your emotions. You try to stay as even keel as possible, but, you know, it's all about the process. Like, you know how much, you know, work that you put in on your body, on your mind, on your skill set, and whether you're, you know, shooting the ball horribly like you're having a slump or whether you're losing games, that process will hopefully get you out of it. Um, and that's the only thing that you can kind of rely on. So, you know, control the controllables as much as you can, and, and I think the attitude is, the, you know, first and foremost in, the, uh, in that respect. All right, Steph, last one before we go. For the first time ever, it looks like we're going to have an NBA versus WNBA three-point challenge. UNESCO dropped 37, and now the stage is set. We're going to see this on All-Star Weekend. How are we feeling about this? What's the preparation going into it? What should we expect? I, I think this is, like, the coolest thing ever. I know, uh, you know, she kind of broke the airways when she, uh, I think she only missed two or something like that. In, yeah, 25 of 27. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, I was on some golf course somewhere and my phone was blowing <laughs> up saying, uh, you know, what Sabrina done. So I think the fact that we can, you know, join forces, you know, put her uh, front and center uh, at NBA All-Star Weekend. You know, I've done a three-point contest plenty of times. I've won it twice. She's got the record. Uh, she even stepped it up. She said she's going to shoot from the NBA three-point line. So. Uh, I love the confidence. I love the competition. It's a it's a new new format on that stage. You know, obviously I'm a, I'm coming to win. So yeah, I know okay. she is too. So it's it's, it's going to be great. I think the fans will love it. Stephen Curry, another incredible performance. Thank you so much, man. Congrats. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Always humble, always poignant, and I also like that he said, "We're I'm going to win that. I'm going to win. <laughs> Humbly, though. Humbly. I haven't seen Sabrina shooting from the, the NBA three yet, so we need to confirm that. I wouldn't doubt her either, though. She's serious. 25 of 27. Serious. Wild. It's crazy because she missed the first. Oh, there it is. I'll shoot from the NBA line. Let's get it. All right, that will be happening All-Star Weekend. Dunk contest, rising stars, three-point shootout.